Hello everyone. In this video, we are given a trapezium ABCD where the opposite sides BA and CD are parallel to each other. We are given the lengths OA, OB, OC and OD in terms of X. We have to find the value of X. So before we proceed to the solution, if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel and let us proceed to the solution now. In the figure, we see that the lines BA and CD are parallel to each other, isn't it? Because of that, I can say that this angle, which is angle OCD, is equal to the angle OAB because they are alternate angles. So we can say that the angle OAB is equal to the angle OCD, the reason being they are alternate angles. So let me write it here. So they are alternate angles. So this is the reason and once again in the same figure we can also see that uh, this angle which is angle OBA is equal to the angle ODC because of the same reason right so the angle OBA is equal to angle ODC so the reason will be same that they are alternate angles okay so basically you can see that in these two triangles if you take triangle OAB and triangle OCD two pairs of angles are equal which means the third pair will also be equal okay this and this will be automatically equal because of the angle sum property okay so because of that I can say that these two triangles over here that is triangle OAB and OCD are similar triangles using angle angle criteria but first of all uh, we should know the proper order in which we are writing the triangles order is very very important how to find the order you can observe it from the angles itself you can see here that this angle C will correspond to this angle A right because they are the equal angles so because of that the vertex C will correspond to vertex A so we can say that A will correspond to C here and again you can see here that this point B will correspond to this point D because of the alternate angles. So we can say that the point B will correspond to point D. And we have the common vertex O for both the triangles. So we can see that triangle O, uh, triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD. So these two triangles are similar to each other. Now we will be taking the ratio of the corresponding sides because if two triangles are similar then we know that the ratio of the corresponding sides will be equal. So we can say that the side AO, ratio of the side AO by CO, AO by CO will be equal to the side OB by OD. So this is how we write the ratio of the corresponding sides okay, by taking the points in order. So we have this condition now using which we can find out the value of x here. Okay. So from the figure, the length of AO, AO is nothing but x plus 5, right? So x plus 5 divided by CO, which is 1, is equal to OB, which is 13x minus 31, divided by OD, which is x minus 2. Okay. So here we need to cross multiply. Okay, let us cross multiply the terms so that we can simplify the equation. Uh, so we'll be having x plus 5 times x plus x minus 2 that is equal to 13x minus 31 times 1 which is nothing but the same thing 13x minus 31. Okay, on the left side we have to simplify the terms now. So first let us multiply x to the entire term x minus 2. Okay, so let me take it down here. So we have x into x, x times x, that will be x square, then x times minus 2 will be minus 2x. In the same way, we will be multiplying 5 with the second term. Let us multiply 5 with the second term. So 5 times x will be plus 5x and then 5 times minus 2 will be minus 10. This is equal to 13x minus 31. Okay, now we'll simplify this equation further. x square minus 2 plus 5 is nothing but 3 plus 3. So plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 13x minus 31. Now we will bring the terms from the right hand side to the left hand side. Okay, first we will bring this 13x to the 
left side so what will happen so we will be having x square plus 3x and uh, 13x will become minus 13x when it comes to the left side in the same way we will also bring minus 31 to the left side so what will happen we have minus 10 already minus 31 will become plus 31 is equal to 0 okay now we have x squared min, uh, plus 3x minus 13x 3 minus 13 is minus 10 so we have minus 10x minus 10 plus 31 or it's nothing but 31 minus 10 which is 21 plus 21 is equal to 0 so now we have to, we have a quadratic equation which we can easily solve and find out the value of x so we will uh, do this by using factorization method let us uh, split the middle term so we have the middle term as minus 10 right so for uh, to split the middle term minus 10 into two parts first we will take this 21 okay let's take the 21 we have to find the two factors of 21 in such a way that those two factors will add up to minus 10 here we can take the factors as 7 and 3 uh, 7 plus 3 is 10 but uh, we need a minus 10 as the sum right so we have to take minus 7 and minus 3 because minus 7 minus 3 will give us the sum as minus 10 using these two terms we will split the middle term so we have x square minus 10 x can be split as minus 7 x minus 3 x and plus 21 is equal to 0 from the first group we will take x as the common factor so we have x times x minus 7 here from the second group we take minus 3 as the common factor we again have x minus 7 inside the bracket this is equal to 0 we take x minus 7 as a, uh, as a common factor once again here so x minus 7 remaining things are x minus 3 so we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 we equate each factor to 0 now x minus 7 equal to 0 will give us x as 7 so this is one solution x minus 3 equated to 0 will give us the value of x as 3 this is another solution okay so x equals 7 and x equals 3 these are the possible solutions for the value of x so we had a problem on geometry basically but then we converted into to a problem of algebra and here we get the value of x as 7 and 3 I hope all of you liked the solution. For more such interesting solutions, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos. I will see you all in the next video.